think you can be because true happiness is from the heart. And if you give true love from your heart, you will find happiness. And um, I believe too, you can be very happy. You can have the best of a life if you have friends, family, um, people that stand beside you. A lot of times people that have a lot of money don't have all the things somebody that doesn't. Um, I would say you can be because you can find happiness in other forms of life just like through nature if you really enjoy being in the out, outdoors, just camping. Um, other forms, just being at the beach. You know, the, the, there are lots of places that you can find happiness that don't necessarily require money. I think like if you think of being happy as like dopamine release in your brain, like serotonin release in your brain, you can uh, you can get release of those things from not purchasing stuff. I think Gerald makes a good point. Like going on a hike, if you find something beautiful, you can have like dopamine, serotonin release. So I mean, I think you definitely can. It's probably harder because money can buy you like very immediate gratification things. Um, so it's probably harder to find happiness without money, but it's probably very, it's definitely doable and it's probably longer lasting, I think. In this country, absolutely not, because you need money to get every damn thing in this country and it sucks because even the homeless people aren't happy because all day long they're looking for money to get cigarettes or beer or food or whatever. So. No, you'll be dead. And we'll all survive. <laughs> While it may not buy happiness, it, you need it to survive. It's Are you kidding me? It totally buys happiness. happiness. I mean, material come on, happiness. a yacht is It happy. buys material <laughs> happiness. But at the same time, it's like... Oh, happiness yeah. comes from also, the inside, but the money buys the materials that make you happy on the inside. Also, if you know it makes you happy on the inside, money definitely, totally helps make you happy. Because do it right, then you never have to worry about bills, you never have to worry about health, you never have to worry about your kids. So money will totally make you happy, but you have to know what makes you happy. Money is just the object that makes it happen. That's very true. There you go, how's that? Community builds happiness a lot more than money, so it doesn't matter how much money you have as long as you have a community of people who will help support you. That's a very good question. <laughs> No, money can't buy you happiness, but I'd rather be depressed with and rich. But um, no, I don't think it would actually. I don't think money can actually buy you happiness, but I think that purpose can make you happy. So if you find a purpose and find something that you love, yes, that can make you happy, and that could be pretty much anything. Yes, I guess you can. I don't know. I feel like you can be happy without money and if there wasn't money there's always going to be something else in place of money as like a symbol of status in society. I mean there's people in different countries and they might not have a monetary value but there's still something that they hold at the height but I do feel like you can be happy without money. I do. I just, I mean my parents. <laughs> They're not broke, but they're not doing the most, and they're happy. And I know some people, they didn't been together 20 years, they just not getting a divorce, and they're millionaires, and that's what that's what it is. Money is an object. <laughs> How about you, Miss? I don't have nothing to say. I agree with him. Money is an object. Why? I think so. I think so. Because you'll find a way to be happy. Oh yeah, come on. <laughs> oh man, I take a different take on things, man. I don't think, uh, like, I don't know. I don't think the pursuit of money can provide you happiness, but it can provide you tools to help, I don't know, achieve happiness, I guess you could say. I don't know, a weekend in, you know, um, I don't know, in a foreign country at a resort doesn't give you happiness. It could provide you an opportunity to enjoy happiness. My take, huh? I, I don't know. I guess my approach is just more romanticized than I think so. Like, his is more logical. Mine's more romanticized. 
Like, you know, peanut butter and jelly sandwich watching Netflix or Hulu or local TV seems pretty happy to me. Happy is a very general term. <laughs> <laughs> Many different levels of happiness, uh, I guess. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. We brought this photo. Get that photo. It's like this piece of art. Oh, and I, I loved it because I think it spoke to me. Like, I feel like it embodies happiness. Oh, let me see. Yeah, hold it up. Oh no, I want to show it doesn't have the glare. But like to me, that's like happy. Like you have all the chaos, right? But you let, you're in your bubble. Wow. Very simple. And I think that's what I think happens. To be in the bubble with someone. And what's this called? It's called... It's, it's on um, there. It says, I'm, I'm glad there... Yeah, I'm glad... There is you. I'm glad there is you. So to me, I think as a couple, being happy is this right here. Like you have all the busyness in the world, the chaos, work, school, life, but you're in your bubble. And that's all that matters. 